Hello, I'm Alvaro Ortiz, Product Specialist for Camcorders in Sony Professional Solutions Europe. Uh, I would like to show you how the end trigger mode works when I'm shooting super slow motion takes on my NEX FS700. So first of all, let's, let's take a look at that I am on PAL or 50 Hz mode. So I'm shooting, in this case, at 25p, full HD resolution. And uh, also I have configured my slow and quick motion, that is on the left part of the, of the camera, so that with just one press on the button, I turn the camera not into the slow and quick regular uh, uh, function, but into the super slow motion. In this case, as I am on that PAL or 50Hz mode uh, I'm, I was talking about, I can reach up to 800 frames per second. However, I have configured it so that I'm shooting at 200 frames per second. Why? Because this is the maximum, the maximum speed at uh, Full HD with uh, PAL mode at which the sensor is being scanned uh, in Full HD resolution. If I would go into 800, for instance, 800 uh, frames per second, the sensor would be scanned about 20 or 25 percent of the lines of the vertical. Uh, uh, the vertical resolution is decreased, so in that case, it is interpolated or inflated into full HD, and the quality obviously is smaller. So for analysis or for crash tests or something like that, is very useful but from my point of view not for Full HD videos that will be shown or displayed in a, in a big screen. Also, uh, you can see on the right part of the LCD that the end trigger mode is activated. That end trigger mode allows me to record what has happened in the past. Let me explain that because it, it sounds obviously strange. As the camera works for super slow motion through a buffer, that buffer can download the, the frames that it has stored in a first-in, first-out uh, configuration into two ways, uh, AVC-HDD codec, so into the card, and outputs, so SDI and HDMI. That could happen, in this case, when I press the uh, recording, the rec button, because it is configured with the end trigger mode. So imagine that you are shooting some nature documentary or some sports and something is happening in front of you and instead of waiting for it to happen, you can simply wait and when it has happened in the past, you can recover it. Uh, depending on the format you are shooting at, you can have 8-9 seconds and then you have that time, for instance 9, nine seconds, to press the button and discharge that information, as I was telling, into the, both the codec and the card and the outputs. So, for instance, with an external recorder, I could shoot, I could record the uh, super slow motion take. For this video, for this example, I'm going to use this uh, football that you can see here. Sorry, I'm not very uh, skilled uh, with, uh, with the football. And I would like to make some silly trick. And then I will do it, come here, press the record button, and you will see that in that case, I would be recording what has happened in the past in front of you. And now I'll press the button 